Unwal's father was recuperating here not long ago. Someone may have seen him depart. Do you know where your elderman is? I can tell you a few things, but not here in the open. Follow me. This is far enough. Tell me what you know. Oh, I know loads of things about our elderman. I know his favorite foods. I know when his bedclothes get changed. And I know he hates being bled with leeches. That sort of thing. But where has he gone? Ah, where? I have no bloody idea. Is that what you asked me? Forget it. Where is the Elderman? Did you see where he went? I, I don't know. Elderman who? Sorry, I I'm busy. <laughs> you there, do you know where your Elderman has gone? I do not. And if you like your hide where it's at, you won't ask that round here again. <laughs> Are you the head sister here? Aye. And I'm not too comforted by the sight of you wielding weapons like a war chief. We're a hospice, not a barracks. It's bad enough I've got these armored cod pieces watching me work. Now you! No harm will come to you or those you care for. I'm only looking for your elderman. I'd be risking my neck telling you anything. And if my head rolls, these sick and ailing folk will follow me to the grave. Your elderman would agree. So the sooner I find him, the more quickly these prowling guards will leave your hospice. That's a pleasant thought. Our lord was in a bad way here, and getting worse, in spite of our efforts. Then, quite against my instruction, some guards moved him out. I overheard them talking about a bathhouse. There's no working bathhouse in Lincoln. So, I gather they meant the old ruins just south of here, by the eastern walls. Ruins just south of here? I will look there. Thank you. I pray you find him. He's in desperate need of care. No one's use our tunnels if you ask me. What choice do we have?
Myself. These tunnels run deep. Was the Elderman fleeing to a hideaway beneath Lincoln? Traipsing across our route. Can't piss from here to Bolingbroke without someone demanding some ungodly deal. All this traffic has made smuggling a difficult job. <laughs> smuggling will always be difficult. But I prefer it to paying tribute. Never again will we bend to the mercy and crown. There was fighting here. About what? A violent struggle between nobles and bandits. The bandits did not fare so well. A noble's cloak with the image of a swan. Looks like the elder men passed this way. Door that would love to meet this key. 
Saxon noblemen paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbroke Castle. Mercy and nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles, but it did not end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the Elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away and headed east for a bowling brock castle. That's my best lead. Do you see? I must be careful now. Right track. That keep is well protected. Hmm. 
cast about this land, my friend. At times, I wonder what in God's name we are here for. Hunbeoth is his own prisoner. He's an ill man leaving me. Besides, we are... Yeah, yeah, the lads, we have this! There now, my lord. All is prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our lord, Elderman? I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his hooger speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often they sound like my dear lord. Can I ask a favor of him? On behalf of his son, Unwald? You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Hoonwald deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I have seen all I need to, but Hunwald will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something. Dried herbs and berries, crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is... longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. A box of musty clothing, and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Hunwald in Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news.
They're skull hooded here. What news? Your father is dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Hunbeov's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer! Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son! Do not forget it! Keep steady, Hunwald. You are now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain. Last in a line of dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Hunwal was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title's not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a shire moot. King Chaelwulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your shire moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our Shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. We have a similar custom, what we call an alding, an assembly of good folk. With so many like habits, there should be peace between our people and yours. Perhaps that begins now. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the Elderman's seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire, and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor, a word if you don't mind. Is the word Christ, or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. I did not treat you as my god commands, with kindness and love. Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hunbeor's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Archer went. 
to console him. I should follow her. 